Hi, thanks for tuning in today. Welcome back to the channel. Got a work drive prop here. It has three bolts remaining in the hub that will not come out. Here's the other three. They came out, of course. Now, how am I going to get those three bolts out without damaging anything? Because they're rusted into the sleeves that are inside of here. So follow along and uh, I'll show you how that uh, I'm going to do it. And hopefully nothing's damaged in the process. So here's my plan. I'm taking this um, 13 mil socket and it's one of the ones that I talked about before. I call them like the cheapy one and it's goes the, the nut or the head of the bolt will go in and then it slides way in. This is what I want. So I'm going to use this to support directly beside the, uh, the head of the bolt on that pressure plate, the aluminum plate. And then hopefully I can get it in the press to start to move into here and then I'll reset with something of a bigger diameter. So let's uh, see how that works. So I just wanted to explain, in case you don't know what's in here in between these two plates, these uh, spacers, sleeves, whatever you'd like to call them. Um, I'd like to just heat this up and expand it. Uh, that would be nice, but this is composite so is the uh, tip of the blade that's in. You can see it in here. So can't do that either. So the only way to do this is, uh, in my mind, is just to press it through. So let's see what happens. Okay, new setup. I've got two nuts on here locked together and a washer sitting on top. Hopefully this is gonna apply pressure a little more evenly. And uh, let's go and uh, find out what happens. Good on the bottom. And apparently that was the key to it. I was actually looking for one of those nuts that had a built-in washer, but I couldn't find it. Okay, so I probably hit the bottom of the socket. So now I'm gonna get a larger socket. find something that the head of the bolt will fit all the way down into. It's not that. That's a 15, so I probably need a 17. So let's try a 17. Yes. This is a 17 mil socket, so I'll switch over to that right now. So let's release this. So the double nutting and the washer did the trick. So nice, look at that. Okay, so we'll set that back on there. And that washer, so washer is back again. Not the easiest thing to hold actually straight in there, but uh, let's see where we're going now. Okay. Now I'm going to see if I can spin it. Of course it's turning also. No, it's still stuck in the uh, bushing. So I'm going to take those two nuts off of there now. And reset this. And we'll go from there. 
So because I'm going to have to retool to get these out on the lower side with a different sleeve, I'm just going to carry on and get all three of them, hopefully to the same position that I have already. Straight as that, it's as straight and parallel as I can get. Let's see what we get here. Come on. Ooh. Wow. Nope. That's not good. Hmm. Well, so far, one moving out of three is not good enough. So I bent these back using the socket on it so that I don't have to hit it and I'm going to cut this off shorter straight and we'll do this one I better move over here. Keep away from the fireworks. And there we go. So reset it and back at it again. All right, let's see how we make it now that that's shorter. Set up good there. Oh, it's moving. Everything looks all straight and in place. It's trying to. Wow, it's still trying to bend a little bit. Isn't that amazing? Well, I don't know. About now, you're probably thinking, well, why don't I just take all the bolts out and take it all apart? And chop all the pieces off and yeah I could but then we have to order all new parts for it we have to wait um, I really thought that this would work to get these out so let me switch over to this one that started to move and we'll see what we can do with that one Okay, so two out of three moving, I'm pretty happy with that. I'll take that. So let me see, we'll carry on with this nasty one here that's still trying to bend. This will be the last shot at this uh, one because if I can't get it out now, I'm not, uh, maybe I will have to just take this all apart and make it into a million bits and uh, order a bunch of new parts for it. We'll see. So, I never want to give up. Once I start, it's all tooled up. Might as well keep going until I find out it doesn't work. Like I said, I can't heat it up. So what other choice do I have? That looks straight and square. There we go, okay. So that's what that was when I cut that off. It was a little bit on a little bit of an angle, so of course it just followed that. Okay, so I'm gonna reset, get a deeper socket for the bottom, and larger, and... Um, now while the uh, phone was charging, as you see, I only have one left, so... I Went, okay, I can't push it through that way. Let's push it through that way. So I cut the head off of it and made it reasonably square. And I pushed it right back out through the other side. So I'm going to do the same with this one. Cut the head off. And I'll 
dress it up a little bit to make it as visually square as I can. Okay, so look at that. We can get the plate off, it's all in one piece. I'll check it on the plate after. I don't think it's damaged in any way. We'll find out later. Okay, I'm reset. I've got one of the old bolts in here now because I'm down far enough. It's moving enough. I don't think it's going to bend. And yes. And we'll see if we can flush the hole a little bit as we go through this bolt. Okay, now I'm going to loosen this off and let it reset. Well, it just got really loose, so I think that means that that was successful. Yep, the old piece just fell on the floor the old bolt that was in there. So this is the uh, bolt side here where the pressure plate goes on. Um, I'll check this on the uh, surface plate and make sure that it's still flat. It appears to be flat by eye, I don't see anything. And these, uh, this plate and the other plate, um, all of the sleeves are still in tight inside here because uh, it, it, it squeezes them in. Um, so there's basically zero clearance. So if this was bent, they'd be moving around. I'm going to check it with a straight edge across with a light um, in two directions and make sure that it's straight. So uh, that worked out very nicely. So it needed new bolts to begin with, and it appears that nothing was damaged. So that's great. Success. Yeah, I would say that is flat on that, that side. Um, this side, I gave it a little rub. It has some witness marks in here from where I had the socket where I pushed on it and it's a little bit low right here just from the way the bolt was tightened up before or maybe it wasn't quite tight this one's got a little dig in there as well so I think what I'm going to do is yeah I think this is uh, two 265 thou and I think this is listed as a quarter inch one I'm going to put it in the lathe and take a little skim off here and see if we can get this dressed up a little bit. So here I am back from the lathe. Let's measure this. Two and a quarter is the size, or 250. It's 251 thou. So I'm quite happy with that. I've uh, chamfered these um, holes here and I also chamfered the edge because the course says you know it's sharp after you machine it. So there we go. It looks pretty. I believe the bolts that were installed in this propeller were not plated whatsoever. Just plain ordinary steel bolts. I think that's why they uh, rusted so badly in the uh, aluminum. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, spending time with me today. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks. Bye now.